Hi, I'm Christian. I'm Valerie. I'm Savannah. And I am Amanda. And, and this, this is, Superbug. is Superbug. As time progresses, so does the amount of plastic being produced each year. In fact, 3 million tons of plastic are produced every year. With the removing or recycling of this plastic becoming more of a necessity, the emission of harmful gases skyrockets. 850 million tons of greenhouse gases are released when producing and burning the plastic. With greenhouse gases polluting our air, more and more people become susceptible to diseases such as cancer, asthma, and more. This needs to stop. Superbug to the rescue! Here's a superbug solution. We'll use the polyethylene dissolving powers of the Bacillus species YP1 bacteria's enzyme. The miracle enzyme comes from the gut of the waxworm and can fully dissolve polyethylene, or PET, one of the most widely used plastics which makes up 97.1% of plastic bottles alone. The harvested enzyme will be encapsulated in magnetized silica gel, which allows recycling of the product itself. The encapsulated enzymes will simply be placed in a PET plastic bath, and the polluting plastic will be no more. Additionally, our product produces no greenhouse gases, compared to the large amounts other recycling methods do. The only outcome of this recycling process is antifreeze, or ethylene glycol, which is an extremely valued and profitable commercial product. The encapsulation of the enzyme made from silica gel and containing iron oxide nanoparticles would maintain the delicate ideal environment, which includes the correct pH and temperature needed to preserve and allow for the reuse of the enzyme. The phosphate buffered saline solution would encapsulate the enzyme solution and keep it at a neutral pH. The temperature of the enzyme will be controlled by the water and silica nano encapsulation in the encasement. Lastly, the iron oxide nanoparticles allow the product to be retrieved and recycled through magnetization. In order to contact potential buyers, we would attend professional conferences, such as the Global Waste Management Symposium, to help us set up pitch meetings. Our goal is that Superbug will hopefully catch the attention of all who see it. At the pitch meetings, we will demonstrate how much better our product really is. Our product was superior in reusability of the product, which allows us to excel in cost and efficiency. Superbug came out with an astonishing score of 88, nearly double the rest. Cut and Wash came out with a score of 37 due to its lack of efficiency. Chemical Dissolving got a score of 43 because of its waste products and costs. However, we dominate in all these areas, which results in us having such a high score. Here are our budget needs. Machine and patent costs will be one-time purchases, and raw material costs would decrease with time as bulk buying increases. Travel costs include the commute a representative of our company would make in order to deliver and install the product, establishing a good vendor-client relationship. Within the first year, our encapsulation will be optimized in order to apply for a patent. The next step in the process would be to attend professional conferences to showcase the efficiency of our Superbug system. By year three, we will have 10 or more customers buying 100 units of Superbug at $400 per unit. Based on a $40,000 per customer purchase and doubling our customer base in the fourth and fifth year, a return on investment will come as early as the sixth year. As time goes on and business strengthens, we will develop methods to increase efficiency by 6% while still reducing plastic and air pollution. Overall, Superbug will be profitable and still affordable, with the 50% markup bringing its final price to just under $400 per unit. Superbug is designed to address the current enzyme washing problem by reducing costs, increasing reusability, and decreasing pollution. Imagine clear skies and clean waterways with Superbug. Superbug to the rescue! Lastly, we would like to give a big thank you to our mentors, Nick and Anu, as well as UCLA and our teacher, Mr. Ann, for all their help and support. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed.